pattern of upside down input output graphing patterns. Anyway, there's the margin factor cost. If you plot out this thing from the wage data for the monopsony case and the margin factor cost for the corresponding workers, you'll see that pattern. I draw in a marginal revenue product, just in like an abbreviated uh, sort of form, just to convey the downward sloping demand idea of marginal revenue product. All right. So how many people get hired? Well, that depends first on the profit maximizing solution, which is MFC equals MRP. Bingo. Right there. We said it was six workers. We said they were worth 24 for their marginal revenue product. But the wage that the workers settle for is only 14. And there's the underpayment. Labels, labels, labels. That's labor. This is the monopsony. Classic picture. There you go. That's the kind of uh, thing you want to do if you have a monopsony problem on the final. You just may, because uh, these are nice examples of the kinds of things that you do later on in intermediate microeconomics. Some of you will have to take that course. Anyway, um, big conclusion in plain English, worker gets underpaid. All right, I hope you never have to work in a coal mine, unless of course you want to. Uh, that's it. I'll try to post this on uh, YouTube and get it out as soon as possible. Okay, thanks. Good boy spot. Thank you.